So this is a new campaign. Let's do it. We're gonna take. A, it might take us a couple of shots to get through that first uh, group. We're not sure yet. All right. What are we calling this one? I th I like the trolley name. So we'll go back to Iron Men. Um, we want the tentacled self fucking. Yeah, that one. The deer that fucks itself. Perfect. All right. No permanent destruction. Random start. Seems good. Expert. Iron Man. High beginner. Go. Okay. Uh, yep. Nimble Mega is a thing? No. I don't think Nimble Megas are a thing. Still. We've tried them a couple times now. And the problem is the effective HP is too low. Sooner or later you get hit. And uh, the Nimble Brothers can't take more than like a couple hits. Especially big hits. Oh. Guys, but again, uh, Kings like don't start with this shit. Kingsguard, Orc Slayer, Undead Slayer. These, these are these are specialty classes that you can't recruit. These are re recruitment restrictions. Is the point of the challenge, right? So, what is the point of telling me about backgrounds? Yeah, if we can get those, if you want those included, yes, yeah, specialty classes are all included as elite ones if we can get them, right? All right. Um. So we want two fodder brothers. <laughs> I can't get it out of my head, chat. Do you guys ever hear? It? Oh my God, there's a squire. Do you guys ever hear it when I say Fodder Brothers? What do you hear? So it's this shitty monk, for sure, because he's 120. 230 Wildman or 200 uh, Cultists. Let's, let's skimp. Yeah. It's a Fodder Brothers mod, for sure. All right. Um, who are we giving this out to? Do we, do we name him after the first fight? Because we're going to be restarting this first fight a billion times. So I think we, or potentially. So let's name him after the first fight. So this, this, that, uh, that, this, this, that, this, this, good, student, recover, Colossus, good, all right, grab our experience boost, okay, back rank them, don't need that knife. All right, we've discovered that one of the bottom was better, like this. This was our fighting alignment, I think. And let's get down there and check it out. Okay. Five stam roll rip, sure, but I don't know how to describe this to you again. Like you take, really, do we want to go down this route? Do you want me to explain the reason why we pick in that order? We're going to be picking it a couple of times. Remind me the next time we pick it, and I'll show you. I'll tell you why we pick it in that order. I'll tell you the explanation for it. All right. So we have to hit the roll where it's um, okay. We don't care about that. Have to hit the roll where there's no reavers, so it's not this one. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll explain it this time when I pick them. I don't care about the dogs. The dogs were fine. You just can't hit the reaver roll because the reavers aren't something we can handle. All right, uh, so they're good, 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 good. Okay. It's funny. I watched Beagle start a uh, lone wolf run last night, and he was like, uh, I offered him, like, do you want a sweet lone wolf seed? He's like, no, nah, I don't like to farm seeds. I understand, but this is the lone wolf exceptional brother challenge, and we want the most. I, I like the extremes of the games, right? We did this with the cultists too. Like, it was an. Ex I like the extremes; they're interesting to me. It becomes something different. What can you do with the, you know, the one in a thousand fucking brother roll? People get that. Like, people get the Dabco armor on their own. I don't. I've played 500 billion hours of this game and never picked up that armor, right? All right. Gunbert the Paranoid. Seems like a good hire. Dirt cheap. And do we want Casimir? No, we want Reinhold the Cruel. All right. Here, uh, hates beasts and he's paranoid. Good, good. All right, I'll show you on the level ups what we're doing here. I could save time on not taking the level ups until we get down there. Also, I should do the training hall before the level ups because it's cheaper. I forgot about that. Okay, let's go south. Uh, we probably want a purchase of tools as well because presumably we're going to lose some tools here. Imagine he never ult. He's. He's a newer Battle Blooders player. He's getting there. Okay, they've already left apparently. All right, Ugh, dude, two to three Reavers. All right, only well, we'll save time. Y 
Yeah, Y O E, and I agree. It's really complicated to model this shit. Which is why I kind of gave up on the spreadsheet. I think I removed the headhunter column because it wasn't it was non-meaningful information at this point. Uh, all right. Oh, do we still have the screen? The vote on the screen? I'll get rid of that. So you guys are almost 50-50 split between Headhunter and Adrenaline. Not surprising. There's not good information there to make an informed decision. So it might as well just be noise, right? Uh, what do we have here? We've got this dude and that dude. And, oh, he's a disloyal lucky brother. Not for long, okay. Oops. Don't let me forget to assign the stats if we do get the one we're looking for. And I forgot to grab tools, grab tools, go south. Okay. Does headhunter have a 15% chance to hit or conversion of hit chance for headshot? It's every time you swing that you don't hit head, it adds 15 to your next chance, percent chance to hit the head next swing. It's a very clunky mechanic. That's the fight we want right there. Okay, so this is... We will, we will ult F4 from here to repeatedly do this to save starting four times to get this every single time. All right, so I'll assign these perk points and talk through the rationale behind it. Ready? Here goes. We want all the melee and melee attack, melee defense rolls that we can get. We can't get enough melee defense and melee attack you can get enough of, but it, it it's hard to get enough of. You really want enough of is hitting orc warriors through shields at 95%. It's basically enough of. Um, for here, we know that we want uh, HP when it's a four roll because and we want resolve up to 70 we're at 63 right now and after that everything else gets dumped into stamina we're gonna build this brother nimble that is important to have hp the exact amount isn't super important somewhere around 120 would be nice but if we're at like 115 110 i'm okay with that so from here this is the least likely occurrence of these this is always forced to roll a four or a five this rolls between a two and a four and this rolls between a two and a four I'll grab the HP because I'm not yet to my minimum cutoffs for HP and this is the least likely roll to occur and I can always get a four or a five there. Same one basically here. I get my resolve roll out of the way there on a four, which is a max roll for that. Take my primary stats. And then again here as well, this is a five instead of a four. Potentially, I guess there's one more stat point available there, but I do want to get this out of the way. These are guaranteed. I'm not guaranteed to hit this roll again. So I can roll this like that. That's my thought process on that. Student, recover. Colossus, go. Yeah. How much harder is it to hit Orc Warriors? Actually, it's surprisingly hilarious how low the base uh, defense rolls are on almost every opponent in the game, which is another reason why Swamp fucks the player so hard because uh, Swamp is super bad for as a minus uh, as a penalty for the player in defense and not at all bad for the enemies who don't have any defense. Yeah. Okay. You have returned. Thank you, Oak Dragon. Thirty-three months. Yeah, stat rolls are coded in. Yep. All right, this is a decent spot for us. So is this, though. Oh, man, that's almost good. I don't know what that means, Wyoian. Like, I need summaries of those. Like, I don't... I have. To, I can parse through that if I spend time and effort thinking about it. But, like, I don't... I can't do that live. like the player gets a minus five to all rolls and the ai gets a plus five please do not feed the fucking conspiracy theorists that all their rolls always miss and all the ai rolls always hit Not as good as we were hoping. Oh wait, is that a perfectly protected spot? Are we one tile away from the dream?
I knew you were gonna fucking do that, dogs. Alright, we're just gonna hit our roll. And then we're gonna back up into that corner and say fuck you to the barbarians. Enjoy, barbarians! Alright. It's alright, we've done this with a two tile choke and it's been fine, but. Yep, they need to go first for sure. Look, isn't that the opposite what you said initially why we in? The players get plus five to their roll and the opponents get minus five? Are you sure? I should be waiting, by the way, to the end of the round to do that. Okay. All right, we found our little corner in the trees and we're never leaving. Because right now the AI doesn't even move to get closer because there's no block tiles. They don't have a point to go to. So if we end stuff, that just spreads out how slow that they get here. Why did we even buy tools? Makes no sense at all. Don't want them cycling brothers in. Yeah, I like that. Now they cycle in three. They get three attacks per round. Another poor fool lost in time and space. I'm gonna call you Bumbleboo. Thanks for the sub. Welcome. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow. I said, don't let's not let's not fuel any fucking random conspiracy theories. I'm really tired of dealing with people who don't understand variants too. Like, it's, it's it's like the number one like post on YouTube. It's like the magic shuffler is bullshit. You just sometimes get unlucky, man. That's life. Oh, good, Bumble. I'm really here. really glad to hear that's why I made the, the guides. The guides are designed to get people going in the game. All right, chat. Easiest fucking fight of my life. 2,950 experience. First try, not even joking first try. Like, first try, first try. Easily done. All right, no famed item, but... All right. So now we have the question of, well, what are we going to do here? Four, three, five seems good. I'll take another level up. Yep, yeah, yeah. Five, three, three, sure. Uh, we have to take a weapon spec because we need to get into uh, underdog. What do you guys think? We're going axe, right? Like it doesn't matter. Like the only reason we wouldn't go axe is because we know about the famed mace that spawned in that location. We could go get the fame mace. The fame mace will probably be the, the same at this stage in the game, right? Like, I think that's a, a spawn from the start. We could get a mace duelist permanently, which would be nice. Now, the thing is, I want this guy to be the crazy axe duelist. So I think we're just going to say, fuck it and go past it. But this could also be the adrenaline pickup. If if this, if this we had the information solved, we've given YOE in like about five minutes to do all the work. Um, if he solved that for us, hint, hint, then we could just go past that. Gifted. <laughs> troll, troll, troll. I think we're just kicking axe again, but it is a little disappointing. I want to, I mean, so the the axe, this is really interesting to me. So all right, all right, we're going to take a second. We're going to take a little diversion here. Just a moment, just a moment, right? So if we fire this up, where's the chrome? All right. So if we look at one-handed weapons, right? Like the mace really is kind of an interesting weapon. It's combined damage is a little bit lower than the fighting axe. It's damage ignoring armor is a little bit higher.
Its damage versus unarmored is a little bit lower, but I think I can see why people suggest that maces are where you want to be for duelist weapons. Although I think the Fighting Axe mod is... Yeah. So that's with the idea that the head mod hits. I mean, not every time, clearly, but just in general. I don't know. Like, I look at that and I don't see the same. I look at that and seeing that I want to use... I mean, I don't know. When we did it initially, it was combined damage we were looking at. That's what I decided that Axe Duelist was the best duelist on, was combined damage. When you break it down and actually look at that, maybe Mace Duelist is better. It is It is a you know increase in actual damage to HP, which I think is the relevant stat in the end of all this, especially if it's pretty close in combined damage. And the mace does a lot less damage to armor, but I don't know if that's a thing we care about. And this mace was pretty good, right? This mace that was down there. I don't know that it's guaranteed. I don't know how it works with the famed items. I know that famed items are placed on maps, spawn, <laughs> camps that are spawned at the beginning of the game will have the same famed items across times that you play the seed. But I don't know if that camp was one of those camps. It may have been a camp that spawned later and just hit a 7%, and that's not the same thing every seed, right? So that the the wall builder's skull crusher was pretty sweet in the end. So like it would be something worth specking for if we knew it was there, but maybe just the the lack of certainty and knowing it's there suggests that we shouldn't take it. The mace causes better injuries than the axe. Uh I don't know. I don't know which injuries are tied to which, honestly. The, the other, only other thing of consideration worth talking about for that is that uh, orc weapons can only be axes or um, axes or uh, cleavers that can't be maces. Why not try adrenaline here? Because if we take adrenaline here, we don't have enough points to take headhunter. How about quick hands if you're going to use an axe? No. Yeah, the bone-breaking injuries are pretty good. Damage? I don't know what that is. It's additive? Okay. Cool. No, we don't, we're not looking for two hands. Chat, if you're, if, you're, if you're giving me suggestions about things, about build ideas that are not Adrenaline or Headhunter, you've missed the conversation we've had up till now. And if you're giving me suggestions about two-handed axes, you've also missed the conversation we've had up till now. And just assume that you should catch up before adding to that. I think we're just going to go axe right now. And then, because we need to be able to get to underdog now. Underdog needs to happen. This is so like so good for the playthrough to get underdog on the first fight, because it's such a pain in the ass to deal with uh, the rest of it. Yeah, I don't know. It is 50%. It's not 50% extra damage. It's an additional... It's additive, not multiplicative. You don't multiply. You add before doing the, the math. Okay, there's a goblin hut over here that we want to dodge. Uh, does our run end here? Eight goblins that just teleported. Did you guys see that on the map? They just fucking teleported. All right, whatever. We can just flee from it. Why the fuck did they just hit to teleport? Yeah, I, I don't disagree with your Kratox, but I think the deciding factor for me is um, what else? There's no there's no orc, orc maces, right? There's no orc warrior maces, and orc warrior axes are super common to get a hold of later. All right. Bond of friendship, sure. Um, disappearing villagers is a bad one for us. There is a hunter here. We can't afford it, so it doesn't even make sense to roll on it. Okay, so we'll head west. Name the lone wolf. Uh, yes, that's a good call. All right. Just, do you think we just standard raffle the lone wolf? Do we want to do something special for the lone wolf raffle or just standard raffle? Any thoughts from chat? Name him Sister Nobu, chat says. Hmm. Any chance Steelbrow ignores and the axe bonus damage? No, I don't think Steelbrow ignores the axe damage bonus, but... The 50, I don't know that the 50%. So is the axe damage multiplier a pure damage multiplier? Or is it the same multiplier as... This is actually probably a question for WoW Ian. So head hits normally don't multiply all damage by 50%. They multiply HP damage only by 50%. Is the headhunter axe hit 
a armor 50% multiplier as well, or just a uh, just an HP multiplier again. All right, we'll roll. All right, click to roll. Dun, dun, dun. Drunk Danish is our hedge knight for this run. All right. Axe Duelist. Congratulations, Drunk Danish. <laughs> Why does he care? Cunebert and Magnus died in battle. Whoop the fucking do. <laughs> Who cares, man? Get over it. Get over it, Drunk Danish. Soft. He's soft. All right. We want one ablative plating. Raban seems good. Uh, actually, and gamblers make A, they're dirt cheap, and B, they make pretty good um, dodge tanks. So I think they're a fairly good uh, class to use as fodder. All right, two missions here. This is uh, explore this location. And this one is probably kill the brigands. Yep. All right, that's where we're going first. Yeah, sorry, Deathwatch. We're going to be doing fodder characters here as well. All right, so he ended up 57-7 with double stars. Brave. Making him literally the best gambler I've ever seen. Let's see who it is. A renewal. Click to roll Gowin. Happy Battle Brothers Sunday, everyone. Ah, uh, cheers. Thank you for the resub, Hikeem. All right. He could be the one. Fodder bro. All right, this is a uh, companion. All right. I believe, Gowan. You can, you've got this. Be quick on your feet. Don't let them close with you. Yeah, it's a sick gambler. 57-7. Like, this has got to be max rolls across the board on the gambler, right? With stars in the right spots? It's a sick gambler. Yeah. Drive up brigands at Backstabbers Canyon Cave. Whatever the fuck it is. Two to three raiders, four to six thugs. It's heavy. No equipment for the gambler? No. <laughs> no. Uh, you misunderstood why we have a gambler. All right. I mean, this is terrifying. It's a tier two mace with a shield. He'll take at least two hits, if not three hits to kill. So there's a pretty high chance he stuns me sooner or later. I don't want to go to there. Two, four, six, eight. Let's try that. Yeah, good man. Right where I want him. Okay. Headshot is okay there, but not great. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. Can get knocked up. Yeah, okay. We didn't swing on that. We do have underdog. Yes. Okay, the mace is down. That's big for us. All right. Oh, no. He got caught. Why did I go there? I could have gone there. Ah, oh, it's fucking... Okay, let's hope he goes first. He does high initiative. Nope. Oh, he didn't get there, though. Maybe I miscounted. What are you doing? Okay, I didn't one-shot him, unfortunately. Okay, we go first because we didn't wait. So we can maybe run this way. Don't stun me. He tried. He hit, actually hit two. But this is it must be like a... no no. Uh, if he had a spec, that would have stunned me. So he doesn't have the spec yet. And I don't know if that's because he's a thug or because it's just so early. Or both. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. We can go there. That's a safe tile still. Okay. All right. Can get fucked by elevation changes here. There might be good. See, I don't know, but two, four, six, nine. He can go there. 
We're gonna get caught. Get caught either way, right? Oh, he didn't do it. He's, he's doing something else. It's good. Why is he going ahead of us? Oh no! Gowen! I don't understand how that happened. We didn't wait. All right, well, you gotta go for it. You die otherwise. All right, I mean, he's just rolling the dice. I believe. <laughs> Rip got one. Okay, so what I want to do is go there. And the reason being, they don't like to move into direct range, but they'll move one tile out. So I wait. They, oh, he did it this time. He wanted the high ground, I guess. Hate that we didn't kill him there. That was worth. You should see the headshot just make me do reduced damage. Isn't that nice? Welcome to crits in this game. All right. Can I retreat with the gambler? No, you can't retreat with individual brothers. You either retreat as a whole or retreat with one, or uh, you retreat with everyone or retreat with no one. Rip Gowan. Uh, I never remember which is which here. Chase them away, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, where are we going back here? Six raiders, a little bit heavy with no fodder character. Am I doing solo wolf? Um, this is annoying, we have to run around. I mean, I could run, I could just run and grab a fodder brother and then fight him. They're gonna be super annoying about it. Hey, gambler hired, all right. Who do we have? Ah, sweet gambler. Seven defense rolls. He's an optimist. He'll fit right in. 51. He's great. Who is it? Click to roll. Da, da, da. Jane. Welcome, Jane. All right. All right, question is now, do we uh, do we want to fight that raider group? I don't hate it. Where'd it go? Detoured down this way. Yeah? Do we want to fight it with the militia? I don't think so. It's going to take all my experience. Okay. I don't know that we want to be running missions that we aren't. Oh, God. Do we even want to be fighting that? We have to kill that. I don't know about this one. We might just back out of there. And getting the pike would be nice, but it's like day two. This is pretty tanky or shit, right? Pretty tanky shit right now. I think we just want to walk from here. Could fight this with the militia group if we really wanted to, but we're not likely to get very many kills doing that. I think probably better just to start getting missions going. The only other thing with this is we don't get any money. He's an optimist too. He'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, those are some very tanky like day three raiders. All right, let's go turn this get the next mission. I don't, I mean, this is a trade good location. I guess I do care about my overall standing with them. So we'll take this, go find region to the east, a long way to the east. Seems pretty good. What? Fucking pause mod just fucked me so hard there. All right. Oh, it's an ambush in the swamp. Yeah. Beautiful.
Okay, we're lucky we didn't take a wound from that. I guess our wound helped us a lot there. The one we did with him, I think it was a damage reduction wound, I think. Okay, four, eight, nine. Could actually get there. I don't want to lose this guy for no reason. Probably, presumably he goes there because he has no other choice. Okay. Should have actually waited for this guy to get next to him. Oh, javelins, nice. Okay. Wait. Move there. Punch. Okay. Get our adjacency bonus. We want to back up. Don't want to be stunned by him. Kind of like him in the water, though. But he always comes out of the water to get closer to us. Don't really want to be hit by this guy moving one tile. So I think we back up one. Don't want to be caught there. No need to waste the brother. stun is super scary. I would love to have gone after that guy because it's bigger damage, but getting stunned here is death. Fucker. So you have to take an extra hit from this now. Don't stun me! Oh, he tried. Two extra hits because I can't move closer to him with and swing. Oh, he's running. I don't know how I feel about that. We might be able to catch him. Two, four, six. Probably technically can catch him. Do we risk a shot here? 55. He might survive. It takes us two turns to get a swing. I'm not sure it's worth it. I don't really care about that weapon. It is experience. And we did take the risk of this fight. And we're taking the tool damage here. Do we want this? Might break, it's a good call. Okay, rip Jane. All right, Jane gone. All right, um, I have to scout to the east for this mission, but there's a fucking a billion raiders coming up there, which is crazy. Like why are there so many raiders right now? No, come on. Why does every camp do this? I walk next to it, it spawns a guy, and we have to run again? This is horse shit. I know, the goblins are just like, spawn, kill you. All right. I so annoying. All right, levels. All right, we're up to uh, Berserk, which is a big one. All right, we still have to find this stupid thing to the east, so I guess we're going this way. Being chased by four goblins. Where is this stupid hideout? Rich Meadows. Rich Meadows are there. That's not super far to the east, that's the south fucking east. Not far to the southwest where we're headed anyways, sure. Okay. Two to three wider gangers and geiss. Almost take that. No, we don't want to fight spiders. Thank you, but no thank you. Alright, terrified villagers here. But also the food debuff. We have more food than we need, right? So, I guess we're not buying it, even at cheap prices. Alright. 30 gold fodder, was there? Holy shit, there was. All right, who is it? Nice, he's paranoid. Well, paranoid's not actually that good for the runner. Okay, let's take a look. Da -da -da. Homie chop. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I don't know a good way to do this. Is this a good way to do this? Like, there's, there's so many people on the list that I feel like I have to cycle brothers through. Is this just the risk you take? Like, 
feel so bad giving people like this man. All right, yeah, he is. Okay. Okay. Never seen a 31 HP, brother. Risk is part of the fun. All right, it's old. They will be they will be eternalized in the obituary, it's true. Don't cancel them off the list, but that's what I was just talking about. There's so many fucking people. Can we can these raiders chase me from up there? What the fuck, man? They're so aggressive. It took me like three days. It took me like a week to do this contract. There's another contract here now. 371. Sure. No. Not doing that. Oh, we probably do have, like, stuff for him, huh? No hat, though. All right, what do they want? Accept. All right, how are our armors? Armor's at nearly full. Great. This guy needs a hat. We don't. Oh, we have a hat. Yeah, look at that. Thirty-one HP. Now I can take a hit. Okay. All right. So we're gonna try the the trick where we bait them into moving next to and closer to us. So like to there. A generous bestowal. I don't want to give him this tile is the only thing. It's probably where. Thank you, Mora. Our next version of Homie Chop. I'll add you in, man. Aren't you on the list right now? I feel like you were. Let's find out. Yeah, you sure are. Alright. So, let me add you another 10 tickets. The next homie chop. Oh, for the next version of homie chop. Oh, I missed it. Okay. We'll do. Didn't understand what you were saying. I can fix that. Okay. Ah. Uh... Go on, game. Let me do what I need to do here. All right. And then, <laughs> triple P adding for the homie. I like you guys. That's sweet of you guys. Thanks. Makes me feel less guilty about immediately killing him for, like, dirt cheap. We have to have fodder, brothers. Fodder, brothers are necessary. I'll add another five for homie chop. Thank you, uh, both uh, Mora and Triple P. Cheers, guys. All right. Uh, we need to back up from these... I think, I think I want to go there, and then to there. So presumably, he went there. I think not quite where I wanted. One more. Two, four, six, eight. I'm trying to bait them into standing right in front of a uh, high ground, but they're not doing it. Maybe we just stop being so worried about it. This train is not very good for running right. He's paranoid. Yeah. Don't want to be stunned. There's three stun sticks there. So nasty. Yeah. 
Yep, took the high ground, sweet. Don't mind moving down there. It's away from this. He will get two attacks on me. Could just go there for one attack. But then presumably he moves next to me. Could take a position like that. Seems Another decent. Fool lost in time and space. Astral Six, thanks for the sub. Welcome. All right, can't see shit up here. About to get caught. Go hide in a bush. Maybe they won't see you. Okay, moved up, sure. I think they know. Maybe not. They just held their they held their action. Could they possibly really not know? I don't think so. Okay. No, oh, no, they found him. We're coming, homie chop. Oh, you're, you're fucked. Rip. We need a weasel. Okay. That was a kill, too, not a struck down. He runs here if we uh oh he went for it. 